So now when the user click on the search icon button, we will send the user to the search page. So for that purpose, in here, as you know, this is our search icon. When the user tap on it, we will send the user to the search page. So we have to create our search page. So right click on pages, new dot file, search destination page. Okay, search destination page. For the material dot dot, we will create stateful widget. We will give it them as search destination page. We can return a scaffold widget body single child scroll view child column widget card widget elevation will be 10 container height for which will be 212 decoration box decoration color will be black 12 and then box shadow let's apply some box shadow on it color will be black 12, blur radius 5 and spread radius 0 0.5 dx will be 0 0.7 and dy will also be 0 0.7 now after the box decoration we can say child padding widget and we will apply padding from left, top, right, bottom with the following values and then of course inside a column widget what we will do we will now start adding the two text field also with a title we want to make sure that we have some space from the top six and then after it we can say stack you can use icon button which will be basically the back button if the user wants to go back to the previous page so we can say icon and the icon will be the icons dot arrow back the color of the icon we can set you can simply say colors dot gray or you can proceed with white color now after the icon button we will add a title at the center of this tag widget so we can say center child text and it will be set drop off or you can say destination drop off means destination so drop off location or you can say destination location okay just like this set drop off location and of course let's apply font wet will be font wet dot bold then after the stack widget if you want of course you can add title that is a comment of title that is it contained title and of course icon button
after that uh, we will display some space of size box height 18 and we will use raw widget in which we will uh, define our text field of course with some designing and some box decoration what we can do is first of all we will display an image icon so from the asset we can access our image the images by the name initial let me show it to you this one so we can say initial dot png then the height and width height will be 16 then after the image dot asset let's add some space of width 18 make sure to put a comma after every widget expanded widget decoration box decoration now this box decoration we are applying on a text field after that we will add our text field so the color for this will be colors dot gray and then of course uh, we will apply border radius dot circular 5 and then after the box decoration we can add a padding widget inside which we will add the text field widget now we need to initialize two controller one for the pickup location one for for the destination location so we can say that text editing controller text editing controller the first one is for pickup then the second one is for destination so now in our text field we can say this is our first one so pick up text setting controller then some decoration we will apply on our this text field which will be the input decoration hint text will be pick up address fill color will be that is this text field will have inside color fill color so we will go with uh, white for now let's proceed with white 12 filled yes we want it to be filled with the color border input border dot none and then is dense will be true and the content padding will be edge sets dot only from the left it will be 11 and from the top it will be 9 and from the bottom it will be 9 so this is all about our pickup location let's add comment pickup text field you can say and then in the same way we can copy paste this whole row widget down here this one is now for so for the destination the image is by the name final.png 
and of course uh, you can change this pickup controller to destination as it is for destination now and you can say destination and of course between these two we have to add some space So now let's just install the app on our phone but also one thing is uh, we have to send the user to this page when the user tap on the search icon button so come back here to the home page this is our icon button you know that and here you can simply say navigator.push context comma material page root builder context and our page name which is search destination now let's test our application if we click on the search then here you can see now we have to fix this of course now if you keep notice then our first which is icon button title okay which is inside this tech widget in here we have this back icon button and this title due to this icon button uh, we see that it comes down and the other one is little bit above that is the title is exactly at the center so instead of you know it takes some extra space when you use this icon button widget specifically here inside this tech okay as you know it is inside this tag with this title set drop of location so in order to fix the design what we can do is uh, you can simply change this icon button to gesture deductor okay and this on pressed means on tap here which means the same that is the click event and of course it will have child this icon so it will perform the same thing but the advantage of using this gesture deductor here inside this tag widget alongside with this title is that it will fix the design as you can see it automatically fix that issue it is now in proper alignment that is inside this tag widget the next thing is the height of our whole uh, card which is this top card so instead of 212 let's proceed with 230 okay 230 is a good enough height so this is all about our search destination page of course in the next video we will connect our app with the google uh, geocoding api which will convert the user current location from coordinates to address as you know that currently we have the user location in latitude longitude form which is known as coordinates okay so we have to basically convert the user uh, location to address form textual form that is what is the exact address behind this latitude and longitude so once we get that then we will display the user pickup address here that is the current location here and in the search destination we will allow the user to search for any destination location where the user wants to go so that is something which we will do in the upcoming videos as we are going step by step for now of course uh, we can add that is when the user click on the back button we want to close the current page and go back to the previous so we can say navigator.pop context so now for example if I click on this back button it will go back to the previous page